We've got mail, yes, the postman's been. Have you noticed on all these YouTube videos when the people get a parcel, all the silly knives that they open it with? Ooh, look what sort of knife I've got. Look what sort of knife I've got. Yeah, it's just silly, isn't it? Just use a bloody knife, don't you? Yeah, don't cut your thumb off, Johnny. Cool, that is sharp. Better put that away. Oh, it's folded. How can you fold a gasket? Cool, I'm not happy with that. You should not fold a gasket. Cool. It's not even popped out, look. Half of them are still sealed. Hey, quid for that. I'm certainly not impressed. Anyway, let's stick it to the bottom of the engine. But before we do that, we've got to clean all the grubby bolts up. There we go, all done. A little bit better. Okay then, let's firstly make sure it's the right casket. Uh, yes, seems to be okay. All the holes line up. Yep. So just to try and preserve the gasket for future taking off the sumps. I'm going to put a bit of grease on it, just on the mating surfaces. Don't have to go too mad, just a thin layer. Then we can plonk our gasket on, carefully aligning all the holes, which makes it a bit harder because on delivery it had a crease in it or not a crease, a bend to be honest I'll do the same to the sump surface as well, put a bit of grease on there we go and we can plonk our sump on the top carefully trying not to move the gasket some bolts in to keep the alignment. These are all 10 millimeter bolts, six millimeter threads. Just make sure the gasket doesn't move underneath or you'll be in trouble. Okay so the torque range settings are nine foot pounds. If ever I say newton meters ignore it it's all foot pounds. And you do have to do these cross, crisscross, 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 crossy, crisscross sort of thing. So just go to where the uh, furthest one away from the one you've just done, basically. 15. round 
and there we go job done okay finally for the bottom end we can fit our oil pressure switch I've checked underneath the rubber boot and it's all pretty brand new so I'm just going to try and screw it on with the wire in place so that it just screws in to that bolt there he says hopefully I can screw it into there it doesn't need to be that tight so we can just use our big adjustable spanner and dippy tome I'm thinking that that wire should be facing that way somewhere so once we get it to that tightness so once we get it to that tightness we'll know we're about there I don't think it's got to go around again yep so I would think that's about it just there like so Then we've got the neutral light switch. Which lives in there. But hopefully I've got that in the right place. That there. But this one the rubber has perished and gone so it's all corroded. So if I put in the pliers hopefully that will come off here we go, one very small dot and one very small washer and one very dirty terminal so let me clear all those up and then we can fit it. There we go. Good as new. So we can screw that into there. We just get a 14mm spanner and snug it up. Perfect. And we can put our nice clean terminal on. can put a nice clean washer on then we can put our nice clean nut on we can pinch the nut up and there we go perfect bloody ripper mate and then that can go up into there and I believe that goes up into there as well like so there with the pliers and hopefully we can bend that up into position so stay in there then I'll put that under there but out not sure where it goes I can't remember but I'll leave that there for now so that is the bottom end <laughs> somebody's not very happy so that is the bottom end all done okay then so I did forget to put on video fitting the alternator knot but don't worry I have fitted it and I did forget the three top bolts on top of the engine but they're all done all talked up so now I guess the next job would be to put the pistons in and put the barrels on but uh, I'm afraid we're going to leave it there because this has come to a bit of a stalemate 
So as you know, I've got two sets of barrels. One set has the waterway channel corroded away, and the other set has all the cylinder sleeves totally worn out. But I was thinking that my cylinder with the worn waterway channel was okay, as all the pit, all the pots sleeves seemed okay. But uh, unfortunately, there's one of them that's not so good. So let's get this baby covered up. Because it might be sitting there for a week or two. And now we can go and look at the cylinders. Okay then, here's my dilemma. We've got this cylinder block and as you probably remember it's got the damage to the waterway just there. So that makes it no good. And if we look at these cylinders, that one is very good. That one is very good. That one it's very good, but that one is very bad. And then we've got this other cylinder block, which all the waterways are very good. But if we look into this chamber, oh, this is bloody heavy. And see, it's pretty bad. And if we look into this one, it's pretty bad as well. I don't know if it's showing up on camera properly, but it's pretty bad just there. And then we've got this one, which is pretty bad up there. And then we've got this one, which is pretty bad down there. And pretty bad up there. Where are we? There. So, I could buy one of these. and try to press the sleeves out but out of those eight I've only got three good ones so I think that option is pretty pointless because, because I'm not going to find one of these sleeves all on its own so my next option is to buy a complete set of barrels and yes that's probably what I'll do but they are like rocking horse poo, believe you me. So all I can really do is keep searching and searching and searching and eventually, hopefully, I will get some. Otherwise, we are in deep poo. Okay then, where are you? Oh, you're up there. Right, so we're gonna call that the end of the video. Uh, I'm not sure what to do in the next video. Don't know whether to Leave the engine alone and start doing some work on the bikini fairing, which is over there. Don't know whether to get this fitted up and uh, get it on the bike for the rest of the dry build. Or I'm in two minds whether to start rebuilding the cylinder head. Uh, that's the uh, original cylinder head that was on the bike. And these are the spare engine cylinder head parts. And these are the pistons. Yeah. And it's no use asking you guys which you would like to see first because I am a week or so ahead of the YouTube videos that are going on to YouTube, if you know what I mean.
So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh yes, and if I don't see you on the next one... I'll see you in another life, brother.